Hey guys, it's Jacob Conroy. We are back from more Earthbound. We left off at the very end of this dungeon. Now, we see one of the sanctuary locations. Does this mean we get to fight a sanctuary boss with Jeff? Well, not quite. Only Ness can absorb the power of this place. So, this boss is not for us. We can't even fight it. Which is, which I guess in the long run is good because it's really strong and we die anyway. Now we hurt Stone Edge. I, st I keep saying Stone Edge. God, I play too much freaking Pokemon. Stonehenge. Now she's my type. I think I'll ask her for a date. I really should have narrated what Bubble Monkey really says. Because I can do monkey voices really well. You know, like... Alright, I'll stop. Alright, now here's Stonehenge. We'll try to go inside, but we cannot. There's something blocking our way. Look at this, it's like all 3D-ish, this looks all shiny. Okay, there's some enemies back there, but look at this. For some weird, re for some weird reason, something that looks like a very large er iron eraser is blocking the way. Now, in the Japanese version, their items blocking the way are not pencils and erasers. Uh, the pencils are giant metal octopus. They're like these metal octopi. And uh, the uh, erasers is like a little limbless doll. And we got out, we got attacked by a cave boy. Now, cave boys are actually a little tough. But they drop picnic lunch items, which are really good. So in the long run, they're worth fighting. If you want a little extra experience. Oh god. Oof. Yay. Jeez. Just die. Would you just die? God. Yay, you're dead. God, see, that's what I mean. They're actually really tough. 618 experience. Picnic lunch. Awesome. Can you max HP one up? Awesome. Badass. Let's eat that right now. Actually, what did I eat that for? You kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. You may have seen it on TV or read about it in the tabloids. Yes, that Stonehenge. So, he says... Wait a minute. You kids don't look very bright. Yeah, well, sir, you don't look very bright because there's only one kid here. Lab. Now, in the Japanese version... Uh, instead of saying lab, it says labo, like laboratory. Obviously shortened, because, you know, labo just sounds weird. Plus, there are more of those iron things on the roof in the Japanese version. I have no idea why NOA edited out those iron things on the roof, but whatever. Because there are a lot more of them in the Japanese version. Music here is so relaxing. I love this song. This game has such good music. I say that all the time, but damn. This game just has the coolest music. Brick Road, Dungeon Maker, referred you, right? Not only that, what? Who? My son? Oh, I can't believe it. Can't believe it. You're Jeff, my son. It's been maybe ten years since I last saw you. I'm so glad you're such a healthy boy. Uh, those glasses look good on you. How about a donut? No! It'll go straight to my thighs. Ah, fine, fine. You ready to check out Stonehenge? Yes. Well, at least I asked. Mm-hmm, okay. By the way, why are you here? Oh, I see. A girl named Paula must have sensed I was here. Okay, I'll try to help you out. I'm trying to make a phase distorter that can connect two points in space and time. It's still incomplete. Let's use another invention I call the Sky Runner. It's a bit old, but it can certainly help. When you board, always listen for the message that comes from your destination. You'll get there for sure if you listen to the message. That round machine over there is the Sky Runner. What do you think? Isn't neat? Get in. Let's get together again in ten years or so. Well, Dad. This is the Skyrunner over here. Let me just go upstairs real quick. Because there's an item up there. A broken pipe. Another thing Jeff can fix. Okay. There's another thing. Look at this. Instant revitali revitalizing device. Only a few seconds this machine fully revi revitalizes you. Just like an see. God, I can't read. <laughs> okay. We're in pretty good shape. See, we're level 12, so we're a little—we're about as strong as Paula, I guess. No, we'll get stronger. 
I'm not gonna stay and grind. Go up here. Now this glitches every so often. Here, let me talk to him again. Let's get together again in ten years or so. There we go. Now I got to go in. You kinda gotta talk to him and then go in though, but if you like go upstairs and then try to go in, it won't let you. I guess this E equals MC squared on the board over there. What happened? It's not moving. Hey, why did you try pressing a button on the controller? <laughs> no more breaking the fourth wall. Rise up through the hole in the roof. God, I don't that means if snow falls in there through that hole too. We're flying. Another good song from this game. There's so many good songs, I swear to God. And here's a preview of a future town. What town is it, you ask? Well, we'll just have to find out when we get there. And preview of another future area. What area is it, you ask? Again, we will have to find out when we get there. This is actually foreshadowing much far later in the game, these two parts that it's showing. Okay. So yeah, I've been having a lot of fun playing uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah, I love that game so much, I just never actually bought it. And I still gotta start on Kingdom Hearts 1. Um, I know people think I'm insane for saying this, but, you know, I've played both Kingdom Hearts games and everything like that. People think I'm insane for saying this, but just like uh, Mikey Spikey 200, if you know his work, um, I always felt Kingdom Hearts 1 was just ever so slightly better of a game than Kingdom Hearts 2. Yes, I am not kidding. <laughs> I know people think I'm insane, because, you know, Kingdom Hearts 2 was clearly a better sequel, clearly a superior sequel, but, I don't know. Just for me, I just thought the first one was better. Alright, now, we're just gonna keep circling around where we gotta go. Ding. And we're just about there. We're locking onto where we have to go. Three, two, one. Incoming! I guess there's a car alarm in the end of that. You were burned. Man, oh man, did that ever scare me. Skyrunner, I guess it took a little damage while landing. Yeah, you think? Look at it. Oh well. You don't have to explain a thing. I'm Jeff. I came because you called me. I'm not very strong, really nearsighted, kind of shy, and I tend to be a little reckless. This is just the way I am. Hope you want me to be your friend, okay? Yes, you can be our friend. Let's get back to the journey then. Yeah, I wasn't going to do my whole no thing to him right there. That would be mean. Seriously, he came to help us. Jeff joined you. Door's locked. So now all three of us are trapped in here. Just great. Now we have three of the Chosen Four trapped in here. That was just awesome. No, not really. Bad key machine. The door open. That is the only reason you need Jeff. Open the door. At least for this part of the game. That's the only reason you absolutely need him. Okay. Now we're gonna use up our insecticide spray right here. Yeah, yeah I don't need this insecticide spray. Let's just use it. So now we have three people. Really helpful. 114 damage from the insecticide spray, 128. See, that's the power of insecticide spray on insect enemies. Only well, works on insect enemies. It wouldn't have any effect on the putrid moldy man if he was still alive. Um, but actually, we are going to cut this right here. So, if you like this part, uh, subscribe to my videos up in the corner, big yellow button, give me a good five star rating down below this video, and be sure to check out some of my other parts. Uh, we guys had a lot of fun. I sure did. Alright, well, see you guys later.